Well, after a summer of alpine adventures and hanging out in Luna, another ski season is finally upon us. Due to the lack of snow in Utah, I made a 7.5 hour weekend ripper to Colorado to touch snow for the first time. Starting at A Basin, conditions were less than ideal, but it felt great to get on my edge again and ride a chairlift. Good morning, squad. Welcome back to another episode of season two. I am down on uh, Route 70 on just some random little like BLM public land lot. And it's about like 5.30 in the morning. I'm still like four hours away from Colorado. This trip was actually really long. <laughs> so I drove as far as I could last night after work. Now I have to do the rest of it this morning. Before we hit the road, actually, I forgot I had a big water fiasco when I got in last night. My water filter completely broke because it froze. Water was everywhere. So I was drying out this underside of the cabinet there. Water tanks everywhere. So yeah, it was a fun start at like 11 o'clock last night. We finally made it out here to Silverthorne. Colorado, which is basically the little town before Keystone and A Basin. I feel like I'm relearning how to do everything, whether that's stuff with the van or just like skiing. I have new GoPro. So this whole weekend is just gonna be taking it slow and basically just getting reacquainted with everything. All right, guys, well, we have made it out here to Arapaho Basin. The line for the lift seemed really long. I'm in like the upper parking lot. So Keystone was packed. This seems pretty packed, but I'm also probably at like one of the worst times. It's like 11 o'clock. So I feel like this is when a lot of people are getting here and on the mountain. So. A Basin is one of my favorite resorts just of all time. I think it's such a rad mountain with some super gnarly terrain. So I'm stoked to be back here. And it seems like the Viz has totally gone away. It's super windy. Just feels crazy even putting my ski gear back on. So super exciting. Hopefully I remember how to do all of this. I've got a new helmet. It's basically the same thing as my other one, which you can see back there. Um, but it's, yeah, just new and it's actually a men's helmet. So stoked to, to see how this thing works. And also using all of the new camera setup, the Hero 10, the uh, Hero Max here for the head cam. And then I'm also just going to be rocking this small GoPro backpack just because I feel like, you know, I don't not do anything crazy and the, the lifts are probably going to be pretty busy. So just in, in an effort to spare space, I'm just going to be ripping this guy and just taking it easy. Basin. We're going all the way up to the top here. Uh, this is Lenawi, so we can get a true top to bottom run in. The lines aren't that bad. They move quicker in the single line. This line down here was almost non-existent, so maybe the move might even just be ripping this for a few times. I'm just going to do a pure sort of helmet cam run. Absolutely stoked. I don't think there's anything better than the very first run of the season. Conditions were tough. It was hard to see and it was like really icy and just scratchy, but it was still fun either way. I just felt like 
completely Bambi. Certainly it's a lot of just heads up skiing because there's so many people and not a lot of room here. And the last thing I want to have happen is to get hurt or something. So just like these two days are just super basic, just getting my feet back underneath me, getting some turns in, you know, just getting everything back straight, not even hitting little side jumps. It's just the, the risk early season is just crazy. So it's only November, you know, so just taking it easy. Um, I'm just gonna farm this, this run for a little bit. The lift they opened up this other section so i'm literally the first one on this one but it looks kind of steep and mowgli so yeah i'm just gonna take it easy and enjoy it but here we go i got really lucky Like I've just kept saying, I've literally just been trying to get my edges underneath me. The visibility has been really poor, so it is kind of hard to see. Conditions just aren't ideal um, for sort of like a first first day, but we still made it work. It's almost four o'clock, so the lifts are actually about to close. I'm gonna do one more top to bottom here and then probably just call it a day. So it's been good trying out the new cameras because everything is like a lot different. So it's actually been taking me some time just getting used to it. I don't even really know if they're gonna work or not and come out. So I think A Basin has the best early season skiing they have some of the best skiing in general but the early season the fact that you can really go top to bottom is is really really nice one more lift ride and then we'll be home
I set the heater on before I left, so it feels nice and warm in here. All in all, just a solid day. I just haven't ate anything. I'm a little dehydrated, and I'm just tired from all the driving, but can't complain. Skied right till 4 o'clock, 3.57, so I don't know what more we could have done. And, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still snowing. Warning, avalanche blasting at any time using long range weaponry. I came up to one of my most frequented places when I lived in Colorado and that is the Loveland Pass Summit. We're right around 12,000 feet, which is pretty high to just be able to drive up to. Usually the sunsets up here can be really, really cool, but it is completely socked in, unfortunately. It's just been like really low vis, super cloudy all day long. I feel like a basin's kind of always like a snowbird or alto where it's just it just kind of has its own weather system just does what it wants to do because down in keystone and all that silver thorn it was it was pretty nice actually but as soon as we got up here it basically like just kind of went nuts so Usually I would cook some dinner. I actually went to the store and got stuff before, but I realized I feel like I was low energy today on the hill and I just, like, I didn't eat anything. I had like a bagel earlier and like some two little bars like on the hill, but I haven't actually ate something. So I just stopped at Chipotle because I was so hungry and I just didn't, I'm tired. I didn't really want to have to deal with all of the dishes and everything like that. So grabbing some Chipotle, then I got to figure out a place to sleep. It seems pretty strict out here. So I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna do yet, but I'll figure that out after. I There's signs all over this parking lot that say no overnight parking, but there's a few other vans here. There's even a few 18 wheelers here. So I'm hoping I can just crash for the night. It's been snowing like on and off pretty hard. So it's kind of like, I just need a place to park the van for a little bit. The entire town of Silverthorne and the entire town of Frisco don't allow overnight camping or overnight parking really for that matter. Um, I like in any of the streets and there's not really a lot of lots where you can do it so it's actually really tough out here to find a place um, just to literally basically overnight park just for the night I think it's best if I just catch some sleep it's like 8 30 so I'm just gonna lay down chill out for the night but I hope you guys enjoyed the first first day of the season um, I had a lot of fun really cool just to get back on the ski so looking forward to tomorrow um, at Vail so thanks for watching guys peace out